What's happening? It's Joy Papers Visionary Art Group, Future Proof of America 1 YouTube video at a chime. Today, man, we're going to do a five music video effect from the baby new music video. The baby shit up. He just dropped this video and I was watching it and I was like, man, that's a tastefully done, clean, crispy, you know, professional edit. You know, it, it flowed well. All the effects was done in taste. Nothing was overdone. You know, in this day and age, you got a lot of people who want to do like a lot of flashes, a lot of RGB splits, a lot of uh, wave warps and people zooming in on the watch. And, you know, it's oversaturated with that. So when you see a video like this, you, you pretty much appreciate the elegance that's done in it and the editing. And it's, to me, it's just what, Editing is all about when you're on a, a different level and you want to get your point across. So I'm going to do five music video effects. We're going to break those down and I'm going to show you how to recreate those from this video. So let's jump straight to it. All right. So the first music video effect we're going to do is pretty much like right at the intro. And uh, you guys can see that right here. All right. Let's run that back just a little bit. And if you watch it, you know, all it is is just, of course, they got the black balls on the top and the bottom, but all it is is just a clip with a clip on top of it. And you also have like a VHS effect on the bottom clip. And that just helps with the separation of the clips. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and we're going to recreate that. All right. So the first thing you want to do to recreate that is, of course, have a bottom clip. So let's just take a random piece of this clip, drag it. It's going to be our, uh, let's keep existing settings. Uh, so we're going to just, this is going to be our bottom clip. And let's just find a clip to go on the top. Let's take a little section out of this. Something, just something to go on the top. So this is going to be our top clip. All right. So now you got your top clip and you got your bottom clip. Now, all you have to do is just import your VHS effect. Now, you can find a VHS effect anywhere on the Internet. You know, a lot of YouTubers and people are offering these for free on down for free for download. So just throwing VHS static effect overlay and you'll be able to find one. So let's just drag that inside our project. Let's uh, double click that and let's just drag that in and. Once you click on your VHS effect, let's change the opacity. Go to your opacity and change the blend mode. Let's try screen. All right. Now, that's how it looks with screen on it. Let's right click, scale the frame size. That's how it looks with screen on it. Then, you know, you got your file right here. And all you have to do is just resize this. Let's bring this down about, you know, say about 75, you know. And that's pretty much it for the first effect. You know, again, like I say, all of this is done in taste. So you want to squeeze this stuff in inside your edit. Don't overdo it. Just do it where it feels like it fits. So that's the first effect. All right. The second effect, another minimalistic effect. And you guys can see that right here. All it is is just two frames side by side. One is offset a little bit. One is bigger, but. It's done in taste. And again, the clips in this actual video make this look doper than what it is. So, again, it all comes about your footage and how you do it with taste in your edit. But I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, let's go back to Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're going to use the same clip. So, let's just take this clip. So, this will be our one clip. And this will be our next clip. Let's go ahead and re put that back to 100. Now, all you have to do is you can do it like this, but you will have to have your frame and everything lined up to how you want it. My suggestion is just find the part that you want. Like I would want him to be like right here and find, go to your effects, go to your crop, throw your crop on there and click on the left side. Let's just drag that over a little bit. That way you can just drag your bottom layer over and that way you got your two clips playing how you want it you know what I mean again it's done in taste so when you go back to this one you see it got it doesn't last long at all 
boom, next clip come right back in. So it does it done it's done in taste. All right. Now the third clip we're gonna look at is this one right here. This right here. All right. That's another clip we're gonna show you now. Personally, when you do something like this, you can use like Photoshop and create it. Then you can use it in other music videos. So I suggest like use Photoshop. Now they do they do have like uh, assets you can download and purchase from people off the internet. But create your own. That way you can just use it and manipulate it and adjust it however you want to. And you can have the full resolution of whatever you create. But this is what we're gonna create for our third effect. This right here And you can see her Like she is like uh, Almost like a, a Stop animation type Deal with the With the clip So this is what we're gonna do Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop right We're gonna go to Photoshop You're gonna create File new And you're gonna create A custom template Alright If you're working in the 4K timeline Make this 4K I'm in the 1080p timeline So of course I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 Just so everything can fit Nice and clean We're going to click create And this is our template So let's just go ahead And make a back black drop That's it Now you want to take your Rectangular marquee tool Right And let's just draw a square But before you draw that square This is the tip You want to go up here And change feather all right, you want to change feather. Now, the more feather you put on here, you see the edges, the rounder your edges. So, if I was to take this feather down to five, I would have a more square edge. You see that? So, let's put this back to 20 and let's just draw a square in the middle and delete. Boom. Right? So, once you got that, all you have to do is just save. Let's save as. And let's just call this the baby. Baby, shut up. Overlay. I might offer this for free download. I don't know. And let's just let's just keep it. Let's just make it as a PNG. You can save it as a Photoshop document, of course. But let's just save it as a PNG. A PNG also saves the transparency. So let's save it as a PNG. Let's click OK. And now all you have to do when you go into Adobe Premiere Pro, right? And you got your got your file. You know, you got your file. All you have to do is just drag. All you have to do is drag your file that you created over that one. But there you go. I'm gonna lighten this up just a little bit, just so we can see the. Just so we can see this. You know what I mean, nothing too crazy, but. So, and pretty much that's how that file was made. Now, to get the stop animation look when you have a video, all you have to do is go inside of Premiere Pro and type in Posterize, all right? So, they got two of them. They got Stylize and they got Posterize Time. The one you want to click on is Posterize Time. So, we're going to do a little, we're going to cut off a little section just to show you guys how that look. And let's drag Posterize Time on that. And once you drag posterize time on it, this is your settings. Now it's based on frame rates, all right? So if you got 24 frames per second, you know, you could do, do this up to 60, but let's just go ahead and bring this down to like half size just for that little clip and let's see what it does. You see how it looks? It pretty much just create a stop animation with your footage. So this is how this is how I look with it off. Smooth, and this is how it looks with it on. Boom. So that's pretty much how you create that third effect from that baby shut up music video. Now, on to our fourth music video effect from the baby shut up music video. All right. This one is another simple one, but like I said, it's done in taste. So let's click play. And boom. You guys might miss it if you blink. Now, again, you can create this in, you can do this in Adobe Premiere Pro without the help of Photoshop. But like I said, 
you know, if you create it in Photoshop, you can use it as many times as you can use it as many times as you want quickly. It'll save you time. So I suggest using this. Do it, I suggest creating this in Photoshop. That way you can just drag and drop it and use it whenever you want and you won't have to crop and resize and do everything you see in this video. So let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. Go back to Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and create a new layer, right? Again, I'm using the 1080p timeline. So 1920 by 1080. Let's click create. Now, let's go ahead and create a back, black backdrop, right? And now, let's just make our feather back to the default zero. We want rough edges, all right? Because if you're looking at the baby video, everything is sharp, right? And you can see how it's offset a little bit as far as the size goes. So, once you're in Photoshop, man, all you have to do really is just draw a line. So, we're going to make this one smaller, right? Delete, right? Then we're going to make a bigger one. Uh, let's just make this one bigger. Delete. Boom. And we're going to make another one. We can make these the same size. But let's just, I'm going to just show you guys how crazy you can make it. You feel me? And let's click delete. And all you have to do is just save this. Again, you can save it as a PSD Photoshop document or a PNG. PNG saves the transparency. So we're going to call this, uh, let's call this the baby shut up overlay 2. We're going to save this as a PNG. Save. Okay. Now, let's go back to Premiere Pro. And again, let's go ahead and delete this. Delete this. And with this one, you guys can see there is three different clips. All right. So three different clips. We're going to put three different clips. So let's get one clip right there. Let's get a uh, drag this clip in here. Drag that out. Just make sure everything matches. And let's get uh, another clip from somewhere else. Just something with a different transparency on it. Uh, this is a different music video, but let's use this. All right, let's drag that on top. So you got your three clips, right? Now, let's go ahead and drag our overlay inside, and let's drag that on the top. Boom, right? Now, once you get this inside of Premiere Pro, the next step is just pretty much getting your clips inside of the squares, all right? So on this one, this is our top clip right here. For me, the best thing to do is just go ahead and resize it and crop it. So let's just go ahead and take our crop tool, crop effect. Let's drop it on the top clip. And I'm going to want his face in the small one. So I'm going to move his face over. And I'm going to crop everything else out. See how that look? Now, on this bottom clip, I'm going to want his face in the middle right so let's go ahead and get our crop tool let's drag it on the bottom clip and i'm gonna cut everything else out now you don't have to worry about the right side because you got the video right here in this box on that side you can't crop it out if you want but you don't really have to so let's go ahead and drag this over to the oh let's drag this over to the left and we're good got your two clips right and on the bottom one since everything else is overlapping that one you can just drag this one over to where you want. And you can also resize that. Now, let's go ahead and play that back and see the results. Boom. Right? That's how you got it, man. It's just real simple, clean cut effect. Now, the fifth and final effect is pretty much one you guys just seen. But... I'm gonna play it for you. This is the fifth and final effect. You guys blink, you'll miss it. Right here. All right. So, this is what we're gonna recreate on the fifth and final effect. Again, this is just a bottom clip with a top clip. And again, you guys might wonder, like, how do I get my edges slanted on the video? So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now, let's go back into Adobe Premiere Pro, right? Let's go ahead and delete all this and let's go ahead and drag a clip 
It's our bottom clip. And we're going to want a clip to be our top clip. So let's just find a little section of this video. All right. All right, the directly and me about to come out. So I like this one for the top clip. Let's move this one back on the bottom. So you got your two clips, right? Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take your top clip, scale it down. Right? Just so you can get your framing. Like you might want to put it over to the left, to the right, wherever you want to put it. But just scale it down just so, just so you can see what you're doing. Now all you have to do is just create a mask, right? That's all you have to do. Get your pen tool. Let me show you guys that again. All right. Let's go to your opacity. Make sure you're on your clip. Go to your opacity. Click on your pen tool. Your free draw bezier. And it will come up with a mask. Now, all you have to do next is just draw your mask. Now, all you have to do is just one line. One line. Come under. Draw that. And just put a little slant in it. Then just make these connect. And that's it. And you guys can see like it will be wherever you need it to be. So now all you have to do is just drag it wherever you want it to go. You can resize it. You know what I mean? And um yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys take these tips, man, and use them in taste. Use them in taste, man. You know, switch it up. Cause everybody is pretty much doing the same effects. You guys want to separate yourself. And sometimes, you know, just being simple, being professional, straight to the point with a good, clean image can make you stand out more than doing what everybody else is doing and fitting in. So, yeah, man, it's uh, five music video effects from the baby shut up music video. You guys check that video out. I will link it to you in the description. It's directed by the real goats. Everybody know the real goats. Um, yeah, man, it's uh, Joey Papers Visionary Art Group, Future Proof of America, one YouTube video at a time. Y'all know we powering the independence. The world needs visionaries. Be a visionary. Peace.